So I'll start this video with talking about how bright it is outside. Today is December 25th, 2012. It's pretty sunny out. Forecast is partly cloudy and a nice sunny day. So right here you can see the entire system. You have the inverters in the top left. Two of them. Charge controllers on the top right. Batteries on the bottom. They have 450 amp hour deep cycle rolls to rep batteries. Six volts each. First roll of a system voltage of 48 volts. <clears throat> so right now, on uh, December 25th, 2012, we have 5,299 watts going into the system. And those are both the charge controllers right there. Takes the power and sends it into the batteries. And then from the batteries it goes to these giant 8.4 kilowatt, sorry, actually 4.5 kilowatt inverters here. <clears throat> right now we're sending, we can check over here. We are sending, let's see here. You can see, oh there we go. So AC1 is the grid. That's how much we're sending to the grid. So we're sending 1,177 watts to the grid. We're pulling 3,600 watts as a house altogether. There's a bunch of other things you can see here. So the battery we're sending 7.6 amps into them. And that's it for that. And you can hear the nice quiet hum of the inverters. Kind of nice. But yeah, it's kilowatts right there. 2.9, 1.94. It's from the solar panels outside. And once again, our total solar output right now that's being sent into the house and the grid is 5,302 watts. You can see how much power is going individually. So actually, the power from the strings is 89 volts, 33 amps. And this is converting it to 53 volts and 54 amps. <laughs> it's funny how that works. But yeah, this, this inverter, this charging drawer itself is putting out 2,000 watts, 2,800. And then this one down here is putting out input 92 volts and 2,426 watts. Compared to this one, 2,899. Different amount of strings on each one. The top one there is five strings and the bottom one is four strings. Actually, sorry, six and five. Six is the top, five is the bottom. Yep, and that's everything. Everything's connected together with these uh, grid tie inverters here. They have a setup on them so they flip on the backup power, which will be the batteries when the grid goes out. So we stay 100% self sufficient when the grid is out. But right now we're sending power back to the grid because we can. PV output is 8.4 kilowatts. That's how much we have on the roof, and we have uh, 600 amp, actually, no, sorry, 450 amp hour batteries wired together in series to get 48 volts, which is right down there. So that's our backup system wired together with 2O gauge wire. And let's see what else do we have here. These charge controllers are each 3,500 watts. But when the extra power from the 8.4 kilowatts is coming in, goes through these big inverters and sends it back to the grid. So, it's pretty cool. Alright, well, thanks for watching. Here we are, seeing our meter spin backwards. Look at that. That thing is going the opposite direction. Hell yeah. December 20th, 1246 <laughs> p.m. <laughs> And look how bright it is outside. Look at that. It's really not that bright. Totally cloudy. It's really cloudy. We're getting probably three kilowatts worth of power or something. Something like that. Yeah. So this that number right there next to the four is going to start going backwards. So yeah, pretty freaking cool, man. Go ahead. Yep, yeah, it started spinning the other direction.